Generic greetings and welcome back to Fights in Tight Spaces. Today's beverage is a freshly made cup of green tea, so I'm going to leave it where it is for now while it cools down and we can look at what's been added with the latest version 0.21 update, which is something I wasn't even aware of until I just randomly today thought, oh, I wonder what's happening with Fights in Tight Spaces because I haven't played it in quite a while. And yes, among other things, which includes new enemies and levels, etc., we've got improved grapples and throws and a grappler deck, which sounds Sounds really really cool so I wanted to try it out so this is basically that if you've not seen the game before then it's essentially John Wick via Slay the Spire it's a deck building game where you have to fight well in a tight space I've featured it several times on the channel so you may be familiar with it and it is an early access so obviously more things to be added chop changed improved etc but that's in done I'm just gonna jump in and play a little bit of it that's all this video is really about so new game and overwrite a previous one You've got a deck draft mode, which is pretty good. We've also got difficulty levels like Suave up to the purest. Uh, Suave gives you more rollbacks, and you can restart. Uh, yeah, restart boards on failure. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to go with the Classic Plus, which is restart boards on failure and gives you rollbacks. I think we're going to go with Classic. I would have thought that... With the addition of rollbacks as a feature, Classic would perhaps give you at least one rollback, but it doesn't. But anyway, that, that might change in the future, who knows. So that's our difficulty, and then there is a story that goes along with it, but it's, yeah, we don't really care about that, do we? Uh, the deck selection originally was balanced, Counter-Striker, Aggressive, and Trickster, and you had to play to unlock them. And then the Slasher deck was introduced, which is all about bleeding, and I've done a video on that in the past. But this new one is the Grappler, which says all about throws. So we got Throw, which throws people to the ground and it oh, shows you knockdown as well which is pretty good i imagine that the problem with this deck is heavy enemies which cannot be knocked down um you got block there you got swapping head smash uh, jumping twist kick 12 damage to any enemy or oh, deals double damage to heavy enemies okay so that has already been thought of and oh stomp as a standard card 20 damage to down enemies that could be a bit naughty our passive is toned physique gain five health every time you skip a card reward well that can be quite good actually so we keep a quite lean deck i'm very much uh very much sure that that's a that's a good thing anyway let's select that deck and we'll go with probably the death's head biker gang i'm still very much of the opinion that you should be able to select whichever order you want for these and instead of just saying it is more difficult it should balance out it would add a lot of variety i know i mention that every time i do one of these videos and the developer may be cursing me for it but you know <laughs> it's you know it's their, cho their choice to have it that way i just personally would probably prefer it the other one anyway let's go to the tattoo studio mission fight location tattoo studio three targets rewards are money as well as extra cards the passive is weakened targets so we'll zoom in and let's see what we can do and obviously this deck is all about knocking down but i've not played this at all so i have no idea what it's going to be like there's two enemies there and one of them is going to drop in but no longer because he's standing there we have a biker and we have this guy here. Both of them are going to attack me. So, yeah, we need to see if we can deal with one of them. Both are on 20 health. So, well, what can we do about that? We've got Suplex, which is a new one by the look of it. Throw an enemy directly behind you and knock them down to do 10 damage and gain a combo. Oh, then we can stomp them if we really needed to. You've also got tackle push the enemy back knock down and apply 12 damage ah tile behind the enemy must be empty so this is almost the opposite of the aggressive deck where the aggressive deck you want to have the wall behind you so, so you can do like jump off kicks whereas this time you really want the opposite of that anyway what i'm going to do is probably take out what i think is the most dangerous enemy so probably this guy to the left maybe because he's ranged so i'm going to do a bit of a suplex so there we bang straight down that's pretty good and then we'll do a stomp and that's like 30 damage in one turn that is amazingly good and then i'm just going to use option player to move two tiles i'm just going to move back over in the turn and there we are so this guy's now in and i moved there because frankly i wanted him to move away so we can do something like a roll throw which as you can see oh that's pretty good so you do a throw and you do that that's really good um the big problem now though is that because i've done that i can't do anything else so you can't do a throw for a target that's already down so i'm gonna have to use ponder to discard a card which i'll get rid of swap and that's give us counter throw and headbutt now i didn't expect that's what have we got there that's what's left is it okay i didn't expect to get our stomp because it's only once in the deck but i'm trying to cycle through the deck as quickly as possible to shuffle it to get that stomp back and looks like we haven't got 
got it, but this guy's not attacking and this guy's only got eight. We've got a twist kick, which I can just, I can just kick him if I really wanted to. And then a shoulder throw. I'll swap place with the enemy and knock them down to do 10 damage. So if we do that, oh, nice. That's really good. Oh, that's a bit dodgy, though, when the die the sort of spring up ragdoll effect. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm not going to move because it'll start getting rid of my combo, and I really don't want that. And I could just use a headbutt, quite frankly, and then head smash. So there's headbutt. Uh, like so, which, oh yeah, so it does a lot of damage, loses all the combo, but does great damage and stuns them, and then we can just do a head smash. Strangely, we've head smashed onto what appears to be a, a massage table, but, uh, no, it can't be a massage table, it's a tattoo parlor, of course, it's just a t it's just a, a foam table, but yeah, apparently it's made of solid uh, face breaking. Anyway, we've got this nice little fight complete screen here, so it shows you level one and that. And, and oh, show replay. I know a lot of people were, well, a couple of people were quite upset that I wasn't showing the replays at the end of the missions on the previous video, which is, I think, a fair, I think, a fair assessment. I'm not going to do this on every single one, by the way, but it's nice just to see what we had going on in uh, at least one mission. Ah, that's hot tea. Okay, that's a hot green tea. And, yeah, that, uh, that, uh, that's a destroyed enemy. Okay, so score is 390, and we have got a new card and money. So we have quick strike, shift, and right spin kick. I do very much like the right spin kicks, or the left right spin kicks. I think, however, I will go for a... I think we're going to go for Quick Strike. So we've got Kitchen and Bar. I'm probably going to go to the... Sorry, Kitchen and Alleyway. I'm going to go for the Alleyway because it leads to the bar. Well, it leads to both bars. Yeah. So we'll have to go here. But then at least we can decide whether we want to go and get some health at the hospital or go to the gym to upgrade cards. So these guys are both going to shoot each other. So quite frankly, I am of the opinion I should probably just move away. And... I'm just going to option play to there, and then I'm just going to tackle this guy like so. Oh, that's pretty good. So you just grab him and smash them down. And uh, I'll just do a quick block just to use the card, and then they're going to shoot each other for 10 damage. So if they're going to do that, you might as well let them crack on with that. So looks like we're going to get a couple of attacks here. So I could do... Hmm, I could do a roll throw, which I think would kill them, would it not? No, it'll give them one more, which is a bit of a shame. So, I could knock them down. Having them there wouldn't help. Um, I'm trying to think. Swap place and enemy, knock them down. So, that would swap place and knock them down, but then I'd still have to... I'd, I'd still be there, and I'd have to move, which I can use my swap to move. Grapple is just to... Move an enemy to adjacent tile. So I can just put them there so they can attack each other. Yeah, if I really wanted to. And then... Swap to there. And then do a shoulder throw. Which is going to knock them down and kill them. Yeah, and then that guy should be punched. And then that guy should be shot. And then basically they're on really low health. Okay, that was... I think pretty good. So we're going to use a quick strike. Nasty little jab. Although I think the landing on the landing on the um, dumpster was probably a little bit more. Well, it seemed to cause more damage. And this is a bit of a problem now because I can't do a headbutt and I don't have the movement to get there and still use that. He's going to cause 10 damage and I do have a counter throw. So I could... I could move, so I could move to there and then do a counter throw, which gives me six defense and a counter throw on the attack. So I'm going to take four damage from being shot, but then I will do a counter throw, which will take out the target. So, yeah, that was relatively easy and, oh, brilliant. We've got option play to there. We're going to suplex the guy over to the side of us, and then we're just going to stomp his guts out. And there you go. That's uh, pretty much that dealt with. 382. I will show that replay because that seemed to be a fairly lean play, I think. It was a fairly decent one. Aiming, aiming, move away, and yeah, you go down. <laughs> I really like the additional decks that have been added. I re All of the decks I've had fun with, um, the Trickster deck I quite enjoyed. The Bleeding one was quite fun. Uh, this one also seems to be really fun, but I can even now see where its limitations lie. It, we really have to manoeuvre around a lot more and have the... You can't just... You know, punch, punch, kick, punch. You need to make sure that the, you know, that the targets can A, be knocked down so heavy enemies can't have that. And also that 
the tiles are free. So there you go. There's a new card, and we gain some money. New card is Nerve Strike Block and Counter. Nerve Strike is brilliant, but I am going to skip it to gain extra health. And now I'm going to go to the bar because I want to head to the game. Yeah, the gym. So over to the bar first and grab a beverage. We have a civilian here we have to protect. And we have three enemies. Okay, so we have the ambassador. And we have all of these enemies. So this guy, is he attacking? He's not attacking. Um, these guys have auto attack though, which is a bit of a shame. So I want to... Um, so I want to swap. If I swap. Swap place with the adjacent enemy will turn to face you. And that will attack me, sadly. Move an enemy to adjacent tile. Then the playing area. Okay, counter throw. For a start. Um, knock down. He's gonna... Oh, he's not gonna attack me. Why would he... Oh, because he was a slightly different target. Sorry, I thought both of these were the same, which had the... I thought these had the same ability, which was um, when you... When you attack... They get a free counter, so... Oh, well, that's okay. I will grapple the guy to... Oh, do I want to do that? I just want to do head smash. Mm. Head smash. It's, gonna, it's a bit of a waste at this stage, but it's going to cause a lot of damage. And then I'm going to swap, and I shouldn't be shot. Ow, that hurt. But he goes down. And I am going to be in shot. Why? Oh, because he wasn't attacking, and then he... Yeah, yeah, okay. Big mistake on my part. Big mistake. Okay. He wasn't attacking because I wasn't in line of sight at the first place, but as soon as I move, then that happens. Okay, well, it's going to have to be a stomp. Take that guy out. And option play to there. And I'll just do a quick strike like that. End the turn, then nothing's going to happen. Massive, massive mistake on my part. I've lost far too much health there. And these guys are both attacking, so the ambassador... Oh, the ambassador's got enough health to survive that. So we can probably do that. Um, shoulder throw. Swap place with the enemy and knock down. What's better, actually, if I do that, then? That guy won't attack. Dash to there. And then suplex. Oh, I see, this is the problem. That I can't suplex that guy because there's no space behind me that is free. The... I need to complete it within three turns. That's very, very unlikely that that's going to happen. Um, shoulder throw. So I'm going to shoulder throw that guy out of there. I'm going to... Option player just a punch and then a throw. Which will take him out. And then that should be fine. I might be able to do this, you know. Yeah, I can. I think. No. I think it's going to be... Auto attack once per turn. Yeah. I could head smash that guy now. That's that dealt with. But I need my... I need my movement to move there. To tackle. That takes him out. Oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't realise Tackle can push them out. This is the um, problem with doing a new deck. But the fun's in the learning. Okay, so we did manage to get that. I've gained 15 health and complete the level in 6 turns and a new card. So I'm actually on maximum health anyway. So I will use... Nerve Strike or Quick Strike. Taunt's pretty useful though as well. I'm going to go with a nerve strike. Yeah. Then we'll go to the gym. And we can buy cards or upgrade cards. I'm going to go with upgrade cards. Tackle. If we upgrade it, it becomes 20 damage. That's getting upgraded. <laughs> right. That's brilliant. Okay. Back. And uh, that should be us. So over to the bar. Back to the proper bar crawl going on here. There was only a bar or a bar we could choose in the previous one, and now we're back in the bar. We have a welder. They're probably going to cause us massive problems. Heavy can't be downed. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna cause us massive problems. Oh, look at that, though. We do have a jumping twist kick. 
causes double damage to heavy enemies. So, well, that's going to happen. He has 12 defense, but guess what? Double damage, he's still taking some damage. Over to there, and then we'll do a tackle, and then basically he's taken out in one shot. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. Um, what is not good is what's going on here. Swap place with the enemy, let's do that. So get them down, and... Roll throw, we can't really do anything. Option, move two tiles. I can move to there. And then do a head smash. Mm, no, because I'd use too much. I'm just going to end the turn. I'm not in any great hurry to to have to deal with all these guys. So there's, he's gonna is he going to attack me? Charge up to three. Yeah, so I do need to take care of this guy. He's going to do uh, 15 damage. No, sorry, 6 damage, but I need to do 15. I can do 8, 12... And then quick block, quick block, quick strike, like that, nerve strike, and then I will swap because then this guy should kill him. Yep. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. This is where you get like all these, you really have to get the tactics in, all the tic tacs. Um, right, how can we do this? gonna swap to there I'm gonna do a cheeky nerve strike and suplex and then you can't throw them I wonder if there's any other cards to deal with enemies on the ground I hope so so now I'm, I'm getting some big problems here so, I can use Tackle on this guy. I can't use Stomp on this guy because he can never be downed. And I can't use Shoulder Throw. So, what am I supposed to do? Hmm. Well, close distance for a start. So, we've got option play. Well, jumping twist kick. There's some damage. Then option play for... S uh, how much is it going to do? 10 damage. I'm going to use... Ponder. Which allows us to draw two cards. Which I've done. Which is give us quick strike. But... Ah, if I had one more, I could have used the headbutt. That would have been brilliant. That would have, that would have almost taken him out. Um, six block... And I'm just going to deal 8 damage to him, quite frankly. I'll I'll take the 4 damage back. I don't particularly care. There's Head Smash and Head Butt. That will end the combo, though. Doesn't really matter. He's now stunned. And now he's dead. Right in the dartboard as well. Bullseye. Show the replay on that one. That should be quite impressive. Good opening kick. Move over. Taking him down. <laughs> Heads rocking back and forward as well. I've seen that in other games. That must be a certain plugin for Unity, I'm guessing. Or the physics engine. Bulgo Summit. Where have I seen that? Viscara cleanup detail. I've seen it in that. Guys, we're all being taken out. And a couple of punches, a little bit of hit myself, then headbutt, and then goes down. And I like the way that the welding mask comes off. So, upgraded card, a new upgraded card. Oh, we got that. So, I can get hook kick, shove, or panic dash. Discard a random card, move three tiles. That's pretty good. I actually like I like both of these I think I quite frankly just need the extra damage so I'm gonna go for that so we've got the kitchen which then can go to medical or the tattoo parlor 
Um, or we can go for an event to then to the geo. I'm going to go for the event. So your flight has been sabotaged. Take control of the plane. I grab a parachute and head to the exit. So fly the plane. 50% shadow enhancement or 50% long-term injury. I'm going to take the risk and it's a fractured leg. Uh, so increases momentum costs on all move cards. That is horrible. So let's go over to the gym. I will go for upgrade cards and... I would very much like to upgrade the suplex, but I obviously can't. I have nowhere near enough. Head smash and head button, no. Uh, swap. I mean, if we did swap, would that just become... Yeah, it just becomes a free card. Well, that's actually quite good. Anything for movement, to be honest with you. So, yeah, upgrading option play will not work out because it doesn't give me any additional movement. Ponder, no. We can't upgrade stomp. 30 damage is so good. But obviously, you have to understand that it is... Uh, it's only good for ones that can be knocked down, so enemies like bosses and heavies, you know. Throw we're going to do, I think. It's just going to double the damage. We'll upgrade that card. That's uh, reasonable there. And then we'll close that off. Go back to here. We've got either Tattoo Pad or another event. I'm going to go with another event, because why not? So, we have Confidential Form says there's some chatter about a major deal, but the de details are hazy. Leave it until you can clear the information. Uh, okay have clear information 25 generic units of currency i'll follow up the lead 50 percent chance of a handsome gain or 50 percent chance of lose 50 i'm just going to pick that one because quite frankly we can't lose the cash uh increase maximum combo by five good we now either go for a motorcycle club or over to an event we're going to do another event we'll just roll these events because why not um oh no sorry we have to go to the jukebox bar first then we'll go to the event another bar <laughs> yeah is there like an outside parking garage thing for like with loads of bikes around? I know there's a couple of parking bits, but I've not seen like loads of bikes and stuff. Either way, we've got this guy here, which is the yep, they are heavy, can't be downed again. That's going to cause us some potential problems. Um, this guy is just a punch in front of me. I'm going to pretty much go to uh go to there then we're going to suplex this guy so uh, there we go and i'm going to quick block because i thought i was going to move further back so i'm going to get hit which is bad so i've lost six health so not a great opener but you know it's, it's also not a, a massive massive deal breaker this guy i mean they're gonna if i just move is probably the best thing to do um can't roll over them this guy has got punch and block Double damage to enemy heavies. I just need that dash. I need to be able to move out of the way of this. So, I think what we're going to do is we'll have a, I think, a one of probably jumping twist kick like that. We'll do a quick strike like, how much damage is he going to do? Five times twelve. Oh, because it's an arc around him. So if I do that, then I'm... Oh, I don't have the dash. I thought the dash was one. Oh, I'm totally messing this up. But I have got counter throw, so I'm going to put everybody on the ground around me. But I am going to be on very low health now. Yeah, having six health is suboptimal, to say the least. And I've just got this guy to deal with now. So I can't, I can't tackle the guy. I can't do much, actually. But these are on the ground. Um, I guess it's going to be hook kick like that and then a cheeky headbutt which will stun the guy and then end the turn this guy can't stand up because someone's already there as you can see um but this guy's gonna attack as well so is he gonna attack it doesn't say he's gonna attack but it should there should be a thing around there that's a bit of a bug i think so the guy behind me i can oh i can stomp that enemy and take him out um, I mean, it's going to have to be stomp on that guy. Shoulder throw to swap them. There you go. You can see the, the arc around there. It's back now. So that's fine. End the turn. Should have done a nerve strike on that one. So a bit of a misplay, but, you know, there's a lot of that going around in the six health. Well, I do like that the game is, it doesn't feel unfair, but it is unforgiving. It really is. So... That range two, so I need to get move two tiles. I need to I need to keep option play. So I'm just gonna throw. There we go. And then move back to there. 
Again, could have done Nerve Strike. So many errors. Hmm. Don't think I can deal with any of these. Turn to face you. With these being ranged too, it's all kinds of bad. It's a fractured leg that's really doing us in for the movement. I need to be there ideally. But I've only got one move. I'm just gonna have to move to there. And just let them crack on. He'll go to there, warning. He? Oh no, he's not. Right. I can, I think, take this guy out. Can't push an enemy back. I have to dash to there. No, but I can't dash and use the headbutt. If I go to there, Jason Tyler. Oh, I can move them though. Okay, I'll move to there. Then I'll just grapple the guy. There we go. This is going to be really good because he's going to do that and then he's going to swing. There we go. There we go. Much better players now. Um. <laughs> well, I'm just going to have to suplex the guy on straight out the door. There you go. <laughs> you barred it. Out you get. <laughs> okay. Um. Quick block. Then, then turn. It's just this guy to deal with. I think we're not going to get the optional here. Yeah, complete within eight turns. It's not happening. Um, so I think it's just going to be hook kick like that. It's not going to do anything but it gives me more momentum. Then I'm going to go on this corner. Quick block. End. He's putting block up all the time. So I can't tackle him. can't swap him. Throw and swap place of the enemy can't knock down. I mean, yeah, this is just bad. Just bad, bad, bad. Am I am I dead? I think that's it. I think it's game over. Minus two damage modifier at the target. Nope, still going down. No, 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 I can survive it. See, I need to move out the way. But he's attacking there and I've only got... Yeah, I've only got ones that can knock him down. For a start, they're right near the bar, so that doesn't work out. Swapping won't work. Put him there. It's the same sort of thing. So we're going to Nerve Strike. We're going to Quick Strike. So we've got all this momentum, but I can't do anything with it. Just can't use it to move. Nothing. Uh, I'll just swap over there. I just need to get out the way a little bit and... Yeah, end the turn, still take the hits. Nah. You have failed your mission. I'll show the replay. That was the one that went totally wrong. I did the the math wrong. I thought I would be able to uh I thought I was that one it's that move there, I thought I was gonna end up there, but obviously hadn't, and then sort of panicked here, did that, and then thought I had enough movement for one, but I didn't because of the broken leg, so I couldn't move, which means I took all of that damage there. Yes, I knocked all these guys down, but that was 12 damage, 22 damage, 30 damage, maybe 28 damage. Yeah, it's far too much damage to, to deal with in one go. Obviously, nice little kick down there and knocking them down and all sorts, but yeah, it just wasn't to be. You can win them all, and I don't mind showing the failures. First time ever trying the deck, so... Almost completing the first stage in one go after not seeing the cards at all, I don't think is unreasonable. Would have liked to got to the to the end, but yeah, it is what it is. It's a long replay. <laughs> right in the back of the head. That guy uh, knows who his friends are. That guy's just evicted out the door. And then, yeah, this is where I'm just literally backed into a corner and getting bullied. That is the big downside with this deck. It's just straight up damage. It's all about the knockdowns, and obviously the knockdowns have two main disadvantages. Firstly, you're required to have open spaces in front, behind you, to the side of your whatever for a lot of it. At least half of it by the look of it. And secondly, heavy enemies who can't be knocked down. The majority of your cards just don't work. 
So, yeah, you do literally get hard countered. But there you are. That's uh, a bit of that session complete. Final score, 1,480. And there's all the cards that I had. And the session time, 21 minutes. Enemies killed, 16. Highest damage is 20. That'll be the stomp. Uh, average turns per fight, 7.8. Events visited, 2. Win streak, 0. Shame. Either way, that's been a bit of fights in tight spaces. The game is coming on very, very nicely. Um, there's no daily play yet. That uh, well, It's not in the game yet, but it'd be nice to see that. I really like that, that we get new decks. They're really flavoursome and interesting and make things different. I like the new mechanics, like the... Uh, bleeding and uh, like the stuns and like this knockdown stuff. I don't know what other things you may add. Um, you know, just watch this space, I guess. Or watch loads of action films to see what sort of things you can get. I wonder if we'll have like a like a disarm mechanic. So if they have got ranged weapons or um, say like. Uh, tire irons whatever you take the weapon off them and use it back on them or uh yeah reverse damage things like that would just be so so good and i'm still of the opinion that yeah being able to select the fight at the start uh, which which enemies you want to verse and have a balance would still be pretty good either way that's been a bit of fights in tight spaces hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions for what i could have done better any uh, tips and feedback then would love to hear them and if you want to see more by all means let me know in the comments either way i hope you have enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings